So today I'm going to do a complete end-to-end -end walkthrough of a Pegasus installation and uh, setting up subscriptions, which, which is a, a feature that's just coming out uh, now as of March uh, 2020. So I've, I've downloaded the latest Pegasus release here, um, and I've also created a config file. Um, so uh, there's the Pegasus installation file and here's the config file. And the config file is just so uh, so that I don't have to enter all these things in uh, one at a time. Uh, but Pegasus will prompt you for this uh, config if you don't specify it. So I'm going to run the command to install Pegasus using using that config. And uh, Pegasus is going to create a new, a new project for me in this wedding plan folder. Um, and so now, uh, I'm going to go in here. I've, I've already uh, created a virtual environment and installed all the requirements uh, because um, just to speed things along, I'm going to now uh, migrate my database. And while this is uh, running, I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you my Stripe setup. And so um, what I've done is I've created a Stripe Stripe test project here. Um, and inside Stripe billing, I have created three products. I've created a premium product, a, a standard product, and a starter product. And in each of these products, I've created two pricing plans. So there's an annual plan uh, and a monthly plan. Um, and so each of these corresponding products has, has two plans with an annual and a monthly uh, subscription option. And I set all this up in Stripe uh, before the demo, um, but it takes you know just a few minutes to, to go through. OK, so the database migration is done. And now I'm going to run my server. OK, so in a browser now, I can open the server that I just created. Um, and this is a brand new setup, so I'm going to uh, create an account. Uh, if you have Teams installed, you'll get this team name prompt. Uh, if you don't use Teams, then, then you won't see that. Um, and now I've signed in. This is the, this is the Pegasus landing page. Um, and you can see because I've installed with subscriptions, I now have these two tabs here, the subscription demo and the subscription tab. So the demo uh, is, is mostly for you uh, after you've got subscriptions working to show you a few simple use cases, how to change content on a page based on what plan the user subscribed to, uh, as well as uh, viewing information about the subscription and um, restricting access to uh, certain pages or views depending on on whether the user is subscribed and that's to get you going for for whatever way you need to do to customize subscriptions um, the more uh, interesting and more useful page is is the page where you actually uh, show the subscriptions and allow the user to sign up to an, a subscription um, and right now it's it's not working because uh, I haven't configured anything in Pegasus um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, do that configuration step. And so Pegasus can, uh, Pegasus can automatically pull in that data from Stripe. Uh, so I'm just going to run this manage.py bootstrap subscriptions command. And this, I've already set up my Stripe keys in the environment, and it's just going to sync it over across all that data uh, that I just showed you. So those, those three plans, the premium, standard, and starter plans, uh, have now been synced to my local database. They've also, uh, Pegasus has also spat out this active products uh, configuration object. And so I'm going to take this configuration object now and I'm just going to paste it into this file, overriding what was there before. Okay, so I've saved that. And now when I refresh this page, my subscriptions are active. Um, and so you can see again, these three, uh, these three plans correspond to, to the plans that I, that I showed you in Stripe over here. 
Um, the prices have been pulled in automatically. Um, and this additional information uh, is coming from Pegasus itself. Uh, so if you want to sort of, you know, change your copy, uh, update, things like that, um, you would do that here. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to, uh, I'll subscribe to the, to the premium plan. Uh, I'll do it annually. And I'm just using a Stripe test card uh, since this is a Stripe test account. And I'll go ahead and turn that on. And I've signed up. And so, so what this has done now, this, is, this has created a subscription object in Stripe. It has charged the card for, for $1,000 for that annual plan. It's set up auto renewal, um, and it's synced all that data uh, back, to, back to my local environment as well so, so that you can do whatever you want with it in, in your application. Um, the other thing you can see is uh, if I go back now, um, this content has changed and now it, it knows that I'm on a premium plan. So yeah, so that is basically subscriptions in Pegasus uh, in, a, in a very small nutshell. Um, this demo was done completely in real time. So I think I think I was able to get this up and running in uh, you know certainly under ten minutes, and yeah, I'm I'm really excited about this feature. I think it's uh, I think it's a really uh, awesome way to to help people build subscription applications uh, much more quickly. So if you have any feedback, uh, let me know in the comments or uh, email me. Um, my information is all at uh, sasspegasus.com, and. Thank you. Thank you for your time.